Hi everyone, I'm Tiny Pirate and this is 2 Minute Mods. If you feel that you've mastered Kerbal Space Program and you're looking for another challenge, or you want to extend the functionality of other mods, especially resource gathering ones, then you should definitely go look at the TAC Life Support mod by Tyrannus L. Sue. TAC Life Support introduces new resources, namely food, water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, wastewater and waste. As you're probably starting to guess, your Kerbals consume food, water and oxygen and turn it into waste, wastewater and CO2. If your food, water or oxygen run out, well, your Kerbals could die. The last 60 Kerbal days without food, 36 hours without water, 2 hours without oxygen, but once those time limits are hit, your crew will perish. Additionally, your Kerbals need electricity to survive, as without it their spacecraft becomes cold and lifeless and the crew will freeze to death after 2 icy hours. And don't forget about your Kerbals on EVA, they can survive for 6 hours only before they turn up their toes. Which leads me to suggest that if your craft does run out of power on the dark side of some distant moon and time is running out, get everyone out of the craft and into their EVA suits and maybe they'll be back in the sunlight before the suits run out of resources. Thankfully, in addition to introducing new and novel ways to kill your Kerbals, TAC Life Support introduces storage containers of various sizes to hold resources as well as the waste your Kerbals produce. TAC Life Support also offers converters that suck power and turn CO2 and wastewater back into water and oxygen. They don't turn waste into food because, well, that'd be a bit gross. Fortunately, TAC Life Support integrates really nicely with other mods such as the Modular Colonization System which introduce greenhouses that can produce food for you. In space, nothing goes to waste. TAC Life Support helps you figure out your resource needs through a new button added to the interface which gives you a countdown until resources are drained. TAC Life Support adds interesting complexity and realism to Kerbal Space Program. When your ships lose power, or their return trajectory doesn't quite get them back to Kerbin fast enough, you can experience some real nail-biting moments straining against your resource limits. I thoroughly recommend TAC LS to everyone looking to add a bit of challenge to the base game. I've been Tiny Pirate, this has been 2 Minute Mods.